Journalists across the world are taking advantage of new forms of media. There are several media workers who have blogs on which they post their works. This gives access to many across the world to know what these people are up to. Most avenues such as Facebook, Twitter and Skype have become platforms for news. As some people put it, we don't find the news, the news finds us. The ICT College of the African University College of Communication has started a campaign to educate journalists on the various opportunities in social media. We have realized that this is a new technology and so it will take time for people to actually you know, adopt to the techniques and use them for commercial purposes. And so, you know, having the opportunity to organize seminars, having the opportunity to organize training um, uh, opportunities for media houses will give them the chance to be able to learn and know about these tools. You know, it's one thing knowing about them and then the other thing using them. So for us to get this platform, we need to create awareness. And that is what exactly we are doing. There might be, in a short time to come, low patronage of traditional media. Traditional media, okay, is very, very good. And it's working very, very well in Africa. But the truth of the matter is that traditional media, whether in Africa or any other part of the world, has its limitations. Okay, imagine a situation where a TV, a TV station, okay, has very good information that it's always projecting, or any media house for that matter. Okay, but they have that limitation of not being able to reach a lot of people in the country, not to talk of reaching people outside the country. But the social media, you know, has made the world a very, very small and compact place. Okay, so whatever it is that is going on in Ghana, all right, if the media puts it on a social platform, it is very, very likely that, you know, people internationally will also get that information, that 